Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a shaft for its footing failure. A shaft is a rod which you must have seen which is connected to a fan. It is generally fixed at one end and at the other end you are going to apply a torque or a moment you can say. So the rod is continuously under a twisting effect. So we are trying to analyze for how long will the shaft continue to take the load or the moment on it before it fails. We will start with static structural. I will go to geometry. Right click new design modeler geometry. Units millimeter. XY plane, look at. I'll go to sketching. Shaft is generally a circular cross section, so I'll choose circle. Let me give it some dimension. Say the diameter is 20. I'll extrude it. Say the length is 100 mm. Generate. So, this is my simple geometry that I am going to use. Next, we will go to engineering data. As we have discussed in the previous fatigue analysis videos, we are going to use structural steel as the material. We are going to discuss about this point number 12 that is alternating stress. Here, this interpolation should be set to semi log. You can see here this graph, and here this unit I am changing to megapascal so that I am clearly able to see what is the maximum stress that this material can endure before it goes into failure zone. That is 86.2 megapascal, roughly 86 megapascal is what we are going to discuss about. You can see that at this value, your maximum number of cycles is also defined as 1 into 10 raised to 6. So we have already taken this into consideration. I will go back to project and update project. I will now go to model and double click on it. I will go to geometry and click on solid. You can see the assignment of material is structural steel by default. I will now go to mesh, sizing, relevant center. I will change the meshing to fine and update. You can use any other type of meshing that suits your need. I am just going for the basic one because I am more interested in showing you the procedure for solving this and to find the fatigue failure. Next, I will go to static structural. I will select one end. It is fixed. And on the other end, where we see a torque or a moment, I will insert moment. I will define by component. You can see here the orientation of moment is along Z axis. So, I will go to Z axis and I will give the value as say, One into ten raised to five newton mm. This is the value of torque that I'm giving. Now I have chosen anti-clockwise direction, as you can see here. If you wish, you can choose the clockwise direction by giving a negative sign to this value. Next, I'll go to moment solution. Right-click, insert deformation total. I want to see the stress tool maximum shear stress. Also, I want to see the equivalent stress over the body. These are the values for a static loading. That is when you have a particular amount of load applied and it continues like that. But generally, it doesn't happen so. You switch on the fan for some time and then you switch it off. So, the rod or the shaft of the fan will be subjected to a variable loading. 
so i will have to check for the fatigue life of that object so i'll go to fatigue fatigue tool in this i'll be choosing fully reverse type that is alternating type of your loading also mean stress theory i am choosing as goodman theory fatigue tool i will insert life and i also want to insert safety factor i'll solve it we'll first see the total deformation you can animate and check the deformation over the body next we can see the factor of safety for static loading you can see the body is completely safe and the value is 1.95 any value more than 1 is going to make the body safe we will see for the equivalent stress you can see here the value is 110 megapascal for static loading our yield strength is 86 megapascal so the body is going to yield but over a period of time not immediately next we will go to fatigue tool here we are given an alternating type of loading so here you can see the life of this object will be 2.4 into 10 raised to 5 number of cycles and this is the factor of safety for the body that is 0.77 any value less than 1 indicates your body is going to fail and the design life is 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles which means the body is designed to work for 1 into 10 raised to 9 number of cycles but life indicates as to how many number of cycles it can endure for after this value 2.4 into 10 raised to 5 cycles your body may start failing you can see here minimum and maximum number is also mentioned here so this is how you can analyze your shaft which is under the effect of moment for fatigue failure i hope you have understood the procedure for solving this kind of analysis if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for latest updates of my videos see you in the next session thank you